Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and there's been a team in Philadelphia that there's been no good days for in Philly or elsewhere, for that matter, and that is this team, our Philadelphia Flyers. When it comes to the guy in the back of his shirt, there's still been good days in Claude Giroux and good years, who's playing a hell of a year this year, and then might end up being one of the most, if not the most, value trade chip at the trade deadline if the Flyers do so choose to go that direction, since they're at least in a retooling phase, it looks, uh, in this free fall of a season uh, this year. But before we go on, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Dues widget to help us get to 200 sub by the end of January. Really appreciate and love you all for the support. Thank you all for watching thus far. But let's get into it. Um, the Flyers, nothing's going right for their team of late. Uh, yesterday, I guess you could say in the scoring category, they took some solace in being more competitive. But also, at that point, like I said, you have to just throw shots on net and have things come to good luck for you, basically, to have a chance to just snap out of this basically free fall of a streak because you almost have to get luck at that point just to snap your confidence back in. They almost got that yesterday uh, because they had a goal that Drew just threw on net that Sorokin should have saved, and they had a goal that Braun was able to get uh, to go off of somebody, and then Jerry Mayhew's goal, who's playing like one of the best players in the team, minus Claude Giroux right now, uh, in the energy he brings. If you're looking at a bottom six guy and saying, like, I need you guys to play at that energy... Just like somebody on the Red Wings told the young guys to watch Tyler Bertuzzi for the whole way he plays the all-around game. The energy Jerry Mayhew's been bringing the last, I would say, five or so <clears throat> a handful of games uh, that 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 he's that he's been in. I'm not even sure if he's been. He's just been noticeable. Let's just put it this way: when he's been on the ice, he's been a very noticeable high-energy player that's actually gotten opportunities, which is something I haven't said about a lot of guys this year, as you guys know, that watch the videos, because not many guys have done that. It's only been the Cam Atkinsons of the world, and the Claude Giroux of the world, consistently, and Joel Farabee, who's injured again. Nobody else has really done anything to bring energy and and um, and uh, opportunity uh, often for this team this year, and that's one of the biggest bugaboo reasons uh, they're a struggle bunny team and one of the worst in the league and going to end up getting Slavoski or a very good draft pick at this point because I think they're six worse, so they're not going to get Shane Wright or somebody like that at this current juncture. If they keep free-falling, uh, maybe that will happen. But uh, last season, as you all know, that watch the videos and watch over at Steel Flyer, check out our stuff over there as well as Pirlo Wisdom, uh, I, I didn't really get all bunkered down on that season because it was so, we had the great season of 1920, COVID had everything hit the fan, we came back, did very good, it seems like a distant memory, we were able to get the first place, and then fell in the second round of the playoff. Uh, then, it, then in the 2020-21 season, um, it, it just didn't go well, once we started falling, we fell, but we still have more jump back than this year, where this year it's like, Everything is just going into a deep, dark abyss, and there's just no answer to get out of it. You now hired another assistant coach, which for some reason took two months. That just goes to show the organization has no structure from the top down right now. Uh, how do you have your coaching staff, because obviously if your team's struggling from the jump, right, it's probably more helpful to have a standard level coaching staff and not just different guys rotating in and out, being able to fill and help you out like the Smiths and what, what, what have you's of the world um, that are there with uh, Williams and Mike Yo. Uh, they brought in John Torsetti, but, but why couldn't you have done that sooner? Like it, it, there's things that don't make a lot of sense surrounding this team of late, especially since unfortunately when our great founder Ed Schneider passed uh, and they sold the team to Comcast, his family, there's been a lot of question marks surrounding this team culture-wise, how they handle the alumni since then, how they run events and all that stuff. And now it's really affecting, which is something that it didn't do until starting trinkling last year. But it looked like that might have just been one down season because of how good we looked in 1920. Now you're starting to see it's really affecting the on-ice product. And that's starting to affect the attendance. And that's when it's going to start to take notice a little bit more. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this plays out going forward <clears throat> um, with the team, what position they're able to go in, or the, the general manager, Chuck Fletcher, is his team able to kind of just save 
Dave Scott, so to speak, and save his bacon as a phrase that Jim Jackson likes to use because nobody in Philadelphia likes him. And many people be, that, that are Flyers fans probably are not very fond of Comcast uh, because of the way they've handled the team uh, since taking over ownership. So hopefully going forward, one, from the top down, they're able to do a better job. We love the mascot they brought in Gritty, but we also know part of that is a money grab if you're smart. Um, and w when it comes to them, hopefully they're able to realize they have to have more accountability on this team. There hasn't been that since that Schneider path, and it shows because it seems like it, it, there's just kind of this cruise through a season mentality these last two years, and this year it, it, it's really showing that the team just sucks. They flat out blow. They're one of the worst teams in the league, and um, I'm going to watch. I always ride or die on my team. I always watch uh, like 80% of most of the games when I'm around and available at least, but like they're not a fun team to watch by any stretch of the imagination. The only people I try to really pay attention to, and the I said Drew Atkinson, the way Mayhew's been playing, he's caught my attention. I love Max Woman from covering the Phantoms for Nitty Gritty, and then Cam York is a youngster that's going to be a big part of our defense, so I want to pay attention to him and how Carter Hart does despite all the crap that's going on around him. So there's guys I pay attention to individually, but watching the whole team as a whole, uh, it's not enjoyable whatsoever this year. They still haven't won a damn game uh, in in 2022. They the last time they won was the end of December against the uh, another downtrodden team, the Seattle Kraken, and then they weren't able to beat one of the other downtrodden teams this year, um, getting not really spanked by them, but losing in pretty good fashion uh, to the Buffalo Sabers. Uh, six to three, which really, if you're talking about Buffalo, probably is getting spanked by them. So uh, the, the Flyers are in free fall. Uh, they're in a retool mode. I do think they're trying to trade JVR uh, probably by the deadline. I'm not sure if that's going to be more of a deadline capability deal because of cap structure, if that's going to be something they are able to do in the offseason since they only have one more year left. Um, I also think they will look in the realm of what they're able to get to for Giroux. Will they try to flip Rister lining and uh, get him and then use him as a flip piece since this team's kind of in nowhere land right now rather than uh, paying him whatever uh, he is to re-sign? That'll be something to see going forward. But I'll be doing a video um, coming up on some Flyers trade suggestions um, in probably not the next couple of days, but in maybe a week or so. Maybe the next couple of days if I put out just individual trade suggestion videos on guys we could be interested in. But it's definitely going to be really interesting how this team sells, because I'm definitely predicting them to be sellers this year, obviously, with the way we're playing. How this team sells and brings back assets for the future, whether it's picks to trade for young guys like the Philly Pytles who aren't working in their current uh, structure, or um, <clears throat> Zadina's um, who aren't working as well. In Detroit, who were a top pick at one time, whether it's to trade for those young guys that you can bring in and mature in your structure and that are already obviously have experience, or if it's to actually draft catch when you get draft picks um, to be able to use the draft picks and then develop those guys. Hopefully the Flyers also, that's a key thing too allow guys to more develop in their own realm, where sometimes I think they do it too much like the Phillies and get too in the heads of guys and try to make them something they're not. And the, those two teams don't have, obviously, the best track record at great um, <clears throat> systematic development. So hopefully it works out uh, better for the Flyers going forward. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a quick Philadelphia Flyers check-in. I do these every so often throughout the season. The last one was definitely more positive because at the end of December, it's a distant memory. I know we all can't remember, but when we were actually doing half decent and playing better hockey uh, before we lost, I think it was to the Sharks in the last game of December and then haven't won since. And so hopefully we're able to get on the wing column again this week. Uh, the Flyers are obviously going to have a top 10 draft picks, it, it, it seems. I don't see that changing. Uh, we'll have to see what the, the, the direction is going forward for the team, but they definitely have to have more accountability from top down, and that's been apparent for a long while now. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel going and growing.